audience if you have heard all the three panelists talk about the changing perspective and the changing landscape of the customer experience how the customer experience is changing and you got flavors on both sides of the table you got flavor from the customer's perspective their expectations are increasing they are getting a lot more and of course from the organizations also organizations are evolving to deliver on that customer experience we'll take this conversation forward because all this evolution comes with its own sense of uh, its own sense of challenges and challenges for the organizations for the businesses to deliver on the customer experience so my next question to all the three panelists is going to be that with all this changing landscape of the customer experience what are the challenges that the businesses are facing right businesses organizations leaders in those businesses are facing to meet these uh, to fulfill this changing landscape so again we'll begin with ritesh uh human by very good uh, question in fact uh, the challenges which i feel every business is facing irrespective of the genre is how to acquire customer uh, and how to make that customer shop or buy again and again this is the whole crux of a business all businesses starts with the same uh, motive but the, this is this has become a real challenge why i say so because first of all your customer acquisition cost has gone up your digital ad spend has gone up uh loyalty has become a myth no customer uh, is loyal to you today they see a 20% discount somewhere else they will jump uh, they will switch their loyalty so that's a myth completely third part is the lifetime value it for any business we require what customer acquisition cost we see and the lifetime value which is how long the customer is going to utilize your services that lifetime value has also gone down so it's a situation cash 22 situation for the businesses especially business heads and the ceos ki kare to kare kya and uh, what do what should we do if i have to translate it in english and uh, it's like a situation wherein uh, plus your cost of overheads are increasing any uh, thing we talk about metaverse you talk about artificial intelligence you talk about any technology tool it is capital intensive okay and if you are a retailer Say with that, uh, say forty, fifty, hundreds kind of a store retail uh, footprint, then uh, that cost is multiplied. I mean, and that's hence your cost of contribution or your contribution margin is going down. Whatever the retail you are making in the end at profit is all decreasing because your overheads are increasing simultaneously. Uh, retail is a very capital intensive uh, sector wherein you have man high manpower cost, you have high rentals, you have. Uh, even if with the e-commerce uh, uh, even the e-commerce people or players are now coming to a physical store for the same reason because they find uh, it's becoming highly unviable for them to acquire customers online so they want to use their physical stores to acquire customers because the customers uh, you know uh, from a physical stores have a lot or longer ltv or uh, you know the lifetime value so uh, that's how the lot of d2c brands which started as a native uh, digitally for example if i have to say uh, landstart for example uh, is one of the examples wherein they have uh, uh, adopted the uh, omni channel kind of a retailing so the omni channel is a very simple word but that omni it cost capital and then and that becomes the whole uh, retail business so ultimately who pays customer pays uh retailer is not going to put the money from his pocket to pay yes when that example uh, samir bhai had given was of vaccine covid vaccine it's the highly subsidized vaccine which was given by the government and the major cost bearer was the government of india your technology cost everything was subsidized but the, it was not subsidized by the industry it was subsidized by the uh, government so somebody really got paid for that service which they had provided so uh, uh, the challenges is the basic challenge of a business is how to acquire customer in minimum cost how to make the customer stay with us in a minimum cost and how to make the customer shop and shop again so that there is a repeat purchases and the business cycle keeps on continuing so that is the crux of the challenge line absolutely i mean i agree that uh, the just the sheer timelines of it have become very very challenging in fact while you were talking about it i could uh, think of amazon as a player uh, we saw the three four 
day delivery. I think it was a week long de- delivery. Then it became three four days. Then they say you'll get next day delivery, and people were amazed. Oh, I can order today and tomorrow I'll get it. Fantastic. And then of course you have one day delivery, the same day delivery. Order in the morning half, and by evening you have the product in your hand. And people were delighted with it. Past three years, we saw it going further. We went to four hour delivery, then one hour delivery, twenty minutes delivery. and i think uh, some of us might have actually experienced the 10 minute delivery which was in pretty vogue the last two years and we realized that all that is i mean it is all coming at a significant cost and it builds up no customer is ready to pay that high or a significant cost so somebody was footing that bill all those startups who were aiming to capture customers by the 10 minute delivery were footing the bill in the hope that it will become a habit and then people will be ready for it but it became unsustainable and most of those players have now withdrawn the 10 minute 20 minute delivery kind of timelines a few hours yes but again that has come at the cost of having those small small fulfillment stores all across the city fulfilling it so yes i mean uh, it's a challenge it becomes a supply chain nightmare to service your customer with those kind of delivery promises and ritesh bhai you are uh, i mean uh, ritesh bhai you are in retail i spent a few years in the supply chain team of a very large retailer i have seen those challenges uh, up front as to to pick one t-shirt and send it out of the uh, warehouse so that it can be given to your delivery partner who will then deliver it to the person it's a humongous amount of activity uh, to find that one t-shirt in the thousands of t-shirts you already have in place so yes uh, 10 minute delivery definitely a very cost cost intensive thing and with that let me go to samir your uh, perception or the your points on the challenges of the changing customer experience well, so thanks ridesh for lovely some really relevant points which i can relate to as being a consumer and re- going to retail shops myself and thanks even for summing it up so i think uh, uh, in the industry i am uh, working for a large leading crm company i often meet customers that is b2b customers and they say you know sami i'm just not able to get one view of my customer right so i recently went to a leading life insurance company and he said see so i mean this is the newspaper and today we came out with the advertisement and it says that you can contact us by whatsapp you can contact us by sms you can call us he said but all three channels there is no linkages right so what communication the whatsapp channel has or the sms or um, the call center or even physical visiting the store is uh, this this we just cannot get one view of the customer right another one is went to a large public sector bank and we are presenting and you know uh, the general manager he stopped me he said can you do some research on our bank and we did right and we did some mystery shopping we went to their uh, online site and we applied for a loan and then we went to the branch and the branch had no clue and the whole journey of the customer acquisition started from you know uh, from scratch so basically the online thing got wasted so these are some of the challenges which uh, you know uh, large companies are facing and we are in the business of helping customers uh, establish winning re- relationship with their customers right so we want the companies to be successful in their relation with customers Uh, right and we like to think uh, that technology plays a huge role in that uh, so that's on one side second is obviously you know my my esteemed panelist vinod can delve more deep into data but but someone very famous said that uh, you know when a customer walks into my store he's a data point for me right so that's one data point walking in so data is a new oil and how do you actually leverage that data uh, to uh, gain deeper insights uh, like hemant you said when you walk into a mall and you pass a store right uh, that's a data point right there are some very futuristic companies who are actually uh, you know able to figure out that you are actually shopping for a purse for your wife which birthday which is coming up tomorrow and they able to serve you an offer there and then that in this mall there is this particular uh, 20% off for purses right 
So that's the uh, kind of uh, futuristic scenario which we're moving towards. But like I said, on the data part, we know that my panelists can delve deeper, but I think to sum it up, uh, these are the challenges which organizations are facing. And uh, uh, maybe in the next segment, we'll talk about how to come across uh, or how to you know address those challenges. Thank you. Thank you, Samir. A very interesting uh, thing you talked about. I mean, me being a data point for uh, the store I am passing by. A very interesting way to look at ourselves. Uh, we have a, we often have these captchas online uh, where we are trying to prove that we are human. Uh, but when it comes to business, we are just a data point. <laughs> human about it. Great. So, uh, Vinod, over to you. Uh, thank you. So before I get into the technology, I want to uh, have that human touch part. Human one is like you know people may forget what you speak, etc. But uh, how you treat them, they will remember forever. What the businesses are forgetting and not focusing on is how are we taking care of the customers? Are they like more transactional? Because it, I'm going to take an example that experience in India. It may be applicable in other countries too. Uh, one is, uh, no, they are more uh, selling products than understanding what the customer is looking for. They they have shut their ears, basically. They just want, they have a goal that is set like, you need to make, uh, you know, 20% by quarter one, and you need to sell all these products to your portfolio of customers, right? So that is kind of like, it will push the customers out and then they're going to start looking at other brands. And uh, secondly, uh, now coming to the technology where data is key, I'm very glad to see like you know, a lot of the customers, you know, been in the data warehousing industry for the last 20 years. I've hardly seen people focused on understanding the customer behavior. Till at least a few years back, all their dashboarding and analysis were on their product performance or their people performance, very little, did they sell, I mean, did they spend time to understand what the customers are looking for, right? I think now that there is a change and uh, it is a welcome change that is happening, but still it is not enough. And for example, if I take, uh, you know, the marketing platform where the customers are going to experience about a brand before they even become a customer, it's like there are about 11,000 odd products and uh, many brands, are struggling to find which specific product or a marketing app can they leverage that will be aligned to their goal. So choosing the technology itself is a big question mark because the options are too much. And then the next point is, okay, uh, with every, business are working in silos, which means the data collection is also like not consistent. And there is a bigger challenge with the data governance and the data integration. Right. And so if you look at the people, how they are being treated, how are your customer facing people being trained? Are they being empathetic with their end customers? That is a very big, important step. Then the technology part, which technology are they leveraging? Is it because the uh, technology vendor are selling down their product into you and not really understanding what is your goal? And, you know, then we'll work with you a strategy and come up and implement it that is not happening because a lot of the recent experiences I have, many of them have failed implementations and then we come in and, you know, uh, rescue them, literally. <laughs> and, and the most important part is uh, a lot of the people have this assumption, if I just buy this technology, my problems are taken care of. That is absolutely not. You know, if we may be like desperate, get the technology, but how are we going to adapt it educate the people who are going to use a technology, make the technology work for you, right? That is a very big step. I think these are primary uh, challenges. And another important thing that is coming up because of you know, a lot of uh, privacy issues that are being raised. Uh, now we see the GDPR and other local data privacy things are coming up. They need to, organizations need to ensure they are not leaking their uh, customers' information. Right. So this is a very a big gamut of challenges that the organizations need to take care. We'll address it in the subsequent uh, topics. Yeah. Thank you, Vinod. Thank you for bringing up IT projects. 
being a management consultant a change management consultant on ig projects for almost two decades that was pretty much the story on every project you begin a project and you enter business and you realize everybody is thinking oh it's an it project it will take care of it and we used to have to i mean we would i mean i would be working as a change manager to work with the business all the cxos uh, and whichever leadership we could get our hands to and involve them into this whole conversation that it is a business project being implemented by it being enabled by it so better you take charge of the project or you won't get what you need or what you want so you better get into the driving seat otherwise it will drive it and you'll just have to take what you uh, what what they deliver to you so sometimes we had to play the game other way but it's a very important thing because uh, it would be looked upon as Uh, the owner of projects and hence the systems would be designed by it uh, in collaboration with a few people with business not really taking ownership and that became a big challenge talking about the customer journey in that context the average user in the organization was the customer their journey their experience of the software uh, was a talking point was not the driving point so that made a lot of difference well thank you very much there is a question for you uh, vinod in the chat we can uh, uh, take that up later on uh, one quick again reminder to all the uh, members in the audience feel free to ask your questions feel free to express your opinion on what we are sharing you might uh, have a different point of view also that's why a panel discussion is there which we can bring in perspectives from different industries different backgrounds so what you see today is three different panelists from three different industries bringing in their perspectives you get the retail perspective you got the it company samir brings in yet another perspective what you get is the conversation about the customer which is an uh, retail customer the customer who is also an internal customer the employee of an organization and a customer to a bank mate all these customers ultimately we humans behave differently to different kind of stimulus and that stimulus how does an organization design that stimulus to create that entire customer journey right even if you are not buying from them or using their services are you and me still part of that customer journey and that's where the challenges for the organizations lie great before we move on to the last question or the last segment of our panel discussion uh, as a small thank you to all the uh, attendees of the panel discussion today uh, me being the coach uh, the most valuable thing i can offer is my time so what i have to offer to all of you is a 20 minute speed coaching session so uh, 20 minutes where we focus on one question one issue or one place in your life where you might be stuck and a laser sharp coaching session speed coaching session of just 20 minutes on that one topic uh the link is there on the screen also the qr code i'll be dropping that in the chat also you could use that to block my time to have this conversation okay so let me remove the slide i am anyway going to post it on the chat so you could copy it from there and block your time with me thank you very much on that and with that let's move on to the last thing we have talked about the changing landscape we have also talked about the challenges which businesses are facing and all the three panelists are absolutely not just future leaders but they are leaders of today in their very own industries in their very own organizations so my question to them would be what should organizations be doing to meet those challenges to overcome those challenges to win over the customers in spite of the challenges so let's begin once again with ritesh over to you how do the future leaders how do we overcome those challenges uh i mean to answer this question human by i had uh, when i started that uh, with a quote saying that we ourselves have made our lives complex and complicated so the answer to your question is uh, what future leaders need to do is uh, the mantra which i am going to give is to simplify things and it is the mantra is not given by me it's by given by rodia kirpling the author of jungle book we uh-huh. all grew watching mogli and uh, you know the jungle book and gulzar sahab had made a very nice song out uh, out of it which said jungle jungle pata chala hai dash 
पहन के फूल किया है आई हैव नॉट सेइंग दैट पर्टिकुलरली एंड सो द आंसर लाइज इन रोडिया ट्रिपलिंग कोट व्हिच ही सेड आई ऑलवेज कीप सिक्स ऑनेस्ट मैन विद मी नाउ व्हिच आर द सिक्स ऑनेस्ट मैन द सिक्स ऑनेस्ट ऑनेस्ट मैन आर व्हाई व्हेन व्हाट वेयर हाउ एंड हु If you now, I will explain how a business owner or a CEO can use this six honest men to their advantage, and this is the market segmentation given by an author of, uh, you know, a uh, kind of a, a different uh, genre and teaching a management lesson. Now, when you decide a product, you should ask a first question: Why this product? What are the underlying needs this product is going to resolve? who are these people who would pay for this product where are these people and when are you going to do uh, the launch of the product and how you are going to market the product this is the entire kotler in one uh, sentence summarized by uh, rudyard kipling genius i would say a copywriter and an author and uh, if you see the uh, ceo of a retail company or any company which is customer facing whether it is hospitality hotels should focus on uh, gamification if it's a loyalty program because you want because there is a recent study by accenture the management firm we said that 65% of the people uh, prefer to buy from a retailer who offer personalized services though this sentence came out very nicely but it's uh, it's you know a nightmare for a ceo and an operations head to implement it i why i say so uh, it's uh, to cater to you don't have the tools currently so how your loyalty programs are not working so how you will ensure the repeat purchase you have to gamify some of the really four sided retailers i would quote uh, like nike nike had a loyalty program they re totally revamped it and make it like a gaming app so when they launched the uh, nike air the most uh, lightweight shoes which gives you the comfort as if you're walking on the air they created they kept a trading treadmill in their stores and they asked their customer please wear it walk walk on the treadmill and then the, it was a, on the monitor there was a game you know low, the moment you keep on walking you keep on earning points to go from one level to another level and in the end if you like to purchase those points can be converted into your loyalty program uh, loyalty pro, uh, points and then discount would be given so that how that's the whole today the biggest challenge also which i didn't mention in my last question was the biggest challenge the target audience the target audience today is a three second generation when i said three second generation is three second is what the time required to swipe up to the next post or to the next feed so you have only three seconds to engage that customer and the gamification which artificial intelligence provides is one of the amazing tool second how you can use or retailer can use this particular uh, technology of uh, meta words and all is by something uh, which i call like a sentimental analysis now what is sentimental analysis sentimental analysis is a uh, thing which we use in fashion forecasting fashion forecasting what are the trends coming going to come after in next summer 2024 we are planning now and purchasing the orders now so uh, how to ensure that what trends would be there ucb came out with a very nice tool ucb as you know the united colors of benetton they have the one of the finest uh, range of uh, different colors and t-shirts and you name it they have the when it come to apparel they are the king so how they do it so they have came up with the, their indigenous kind of a program instead of making a they make a normal polo shirt or a t-shirt in different colors they don't uh, dye the complete yarn they put those t-shirts a small quantity in every store and monitor the sale which color is moving faster if the red is color or a baby pink is moving faster then they dye the complete yarn with that color and then uh, roll out the entire collection into their stores and another way which uh, tag driven companies are using especially i'll give a luxury brand uh, called valentino they have launched their collection first time in metaverse on roblox what they did they created uh, uh, the uh, 3d avatars in their collection and they and each avatar is for sale for $1 so they are monitoring the sale who is buying what which avatar in which costume and then they will roll out that particular uh, collection in their stores 
which is a, for a normal purchase. So yes, technology is, uh, it's like, you know, when uh, uh, we all talk about data, today data is everywhere. We all are leaving data cookies everywhere on our digital platforms. But the question is, do the decision maker really know how to use that data? That is the crust of the question. And the biggest, uh, since uh, my friend Vinod and Samir both are into digital transformation, I'll give you one small tip. As a, if you are a business owner and especially into retailer, then and you want to ensure your the digital transformation fail, I say fail, is by giving that project either to your IT head or to your finance head. That project will never see the daylight. I can give you a writing on, you know, like a stamp paper. And the best way to understand uh, a consumer, we know touch about a very nice point, is on standing, ensuring that every key decision maker spends 20 minutes of the day on a shop floor in different, different locations. The moment you meet the customer, you observe who is picking what, who is picking and trying and keeping it back on the racks, tells you, whether the collection is hit or miss. So, you know, going back to the foundation, going back to the basics is the crust. Or what I summarize of a uh, jungle book, this was written maybe 50 years old book. And uh, what, are, what have we complicated? We have made our life miserable by adding layers and layers of technology. And we don't know how to make sense of that data. Yes, data yes. Is everywhere, information is everywhere. We don't know how to use. Very true, very true. So I think, uh, I mean, data itself by itself is a challenge as well as the solution to the problems uh, companies and organizations are facing, whether it is retail or banking or any industry where you have got customers. It could be the Netflix, it could be the Amazon, whether you are selling a real hard uh, touchable product or a virtual product. Uh, the consumer behavior insights is what everybody is looking at and what most organizations are also focusing on spending on 